This presentation describes a technique to install a typical standard window air conditioner in an old-fashioned casement window, uh, a window that looks something like this. So if you have uh, old hinged casement windows, uh, this presentation describes uh, how to install an air conditioner. So your prerequisite, make sure your electrical system is adequate. Uh, if you have old windows like this, you also probably have old wiring. Um, is your window frame and window sill all sound? And finally, is your window wide enough? And I'll talk about, more about that in a minute. If your windows meet this, these prerequisites, then the installation is very easy, robust, and uh, attractive. Uh, I think you'll find it very satisfactory. I used an LG 8000 BTU uh, air conditioner. But the same technique should use you should work with uh, many other types of air conditioners as long as the uh, air conditioner is wide enough. The box for this air conditioner states that it needs a minimum window width of 22 inches. But my window is actually smaller than that. Uh, the important thing to uh, understand is that the air conditioner is smaller the, than, than what is stated on the box. In this case, the air conditioner is about 19 and a half inches wide. My window is about 20 and a half inches wide, so indeed it does fix. Uh, so, so don't be frightened by the minimum window dimensions on the outside of the box. You can see in this case, my, the air conditioner is about 19 and a half inches wide. The window opening is about 20 and a half inches wide, so it, it slides in with a little bit of room to spare. So my biggest fear was that the air conditioner would fall out and land on the front lawn or crush somebody underneath. Um, but this installation is so robust it cannot possibly happen. The air conditioner is securely held on all four sides. On the bottom there is a channel um, in the air conditioner that mates with a metal ridge in the window. On the sides we bolt, I bolt wood, a piece of wood on each side of the air conditioner which uh, mates up with wood which has been bolted on the inside of the window. Uh, on the top there's a metal channel that is uh, installed on the air conditioner as it comes from the factory and I have a brace that goes into that metal channel which again holds that metal channel up against the uh, window frame. So all four sides are securely uh, pulled. The slope of the air conditioner is important. It has to slope such that the water con condensate will drain out to the outside. Um, the windowsill has the right slope, obviously, because it has to shed uh, rainwater. Uh, and the channel on the bottom and the uh, metal channel on the top of the air conditioner are positioned to give it the right slope. Uh, so it, it's fortunate that the slope on this windowsill matches up the slope that the uh, air conditioner is expecting to see. So you start with the window that looks like this. You will remove both the in inside and outside window. You will note at the bottom, at the bottom of the window, there is this metal ridge, which is used to control uh, rainwater. Um, that that will mate in with the bottom with a, a, a depression on the bottom of the air conditioner shown in this slide. You can't see it very well because it's covered with uh, uh, weather stripping. So that's that's how the bottom of the air conditioner fits into the window. On the sides of the air conditioner, we will bolt, bolt on a piece of wood. These, this will be, uses the screws that were originally intended for the uh, accordion uh, apparatus that goes on either side. So both sides uh, receive a piece of wood, uh, that's, which is basically 90 degrees to the uh, bottom of the air conditioner. Um, and that will mate with uh, wood that, that you install on the inside of the window frame. This wood will be sloped appropriately to match the slope of the window sill uh, and the slope that the air conditioner needs. So it is not quite vertical, as you can see right here. Uh, when you put slide the air conditioner into the opening, you can see here where the uh, wood on the air conditioner is going to touch the wood on the window frame. Uh, you, you can see that this, this will effectively uh, secure the air conditioner from sliding any further outside the window. On the top of the air conditioner, as I mentioned, there's a metal channel which comes with the air conditioner. We will put a piece of wood in that channel. I call this wood uh, the top brace. This wood pushes up against the inside of the window frame. This wood also has a, an aluminum channel uh, screwed on top of it. Uh, which will hold the window that uh, will be fitted in above the uh, air conditioner. 
So that window, uh, that brace just slides into the top of the air conditioner and up against the window. Um, you can see here from what it looks like from the outside. On top of that top brace is a aluminum channel which accepts the acrylic window which goes in on top of the uh, air conditioner. So here I, I, I show the, the acrylic sheet going in, sliding in first into the channel and then just up against the window frame. That is held in place with uh, trim on both sides and you can see the trim also holds the, um, the top brace uh, in place. It's, the trim is held into the window frame with uh, a, a few screws. That is, uh, well here's the detail of the trim. You can see the, the metal channel on the bottom, the top brace slides into the metal channel and is held up against the uh, window frame with the trim and the aluminum channel for the window on top. We put obviously a trim on the other side as well and complete the job by putting trim around the window at the very top, in each case held, held in with small screws. The resulting installation looks like this. Uh, it's neat, it's, it's, it's quite tight in that there is very little air leaking around the air conditioner. This is another view and then I show views from, from the uh, outside. And notice you can do this installation without a ladder. You can do it entirely from inside. That's all there really is to it. This is a list of the items I needed to complete this job. Um, good luck.